This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. Since Robbie Lucas took over the Somerset football program in 2009, the Briar Jumpers had won at least three playoff games every postseason. However, last year, a complete 180. They didn't win a single game. The Jumpers are up next in our Pigskin Preview 40 Teams in 20 Days series. 0-10, never again. Somerset's motto this season. As soon as the season ended, we were motivated. First day after that game, the next day after that game, we came in here and we want to work to get better, to get back where we should be. That's a region championship. What I learned about me was uh, I'm a much better coach when I have great players, and I do have great players. And this year, being young, uh, those kids are now uh, grizzled, if you want to, savvy sophomores, if you will. The Briar Jumpers will have Jordan Doan back at running back after he spent last season at Southwestern. And the offense is like the 2009-10 team, which finished as state runner-ups. Oh, I'm ecstatic. I mean, I'm back with my friends. I mean, school's great. I love my teachers. Um, just the environment's better, you know. Love Southwestern. Football is great over there. But, you know, I mean, just being back here since, the fifth, what, fifth, sixth grade, I mean, it's just great. The vibe, there's more enthusiasm, there's more hype, there's more, it's funner. We got a few new coaches on the coaching staff that are just funner to, like, they're always motivated, they're always wanting to get us better. Somerset had its worst season in 20 years. Injuries, suspensions, and complete turmoil. Not a typical Somerset type year. We were pretty down. It's hard to go through a season and not win any games, but makes us work harder this year. All off season, they've had to stare at an 0-10 record. Now they can look ahead to a fresh start. Quarterback run, he has the first down and more. Hatcher, shifty, using his speed. Hatcher goes the distance, touchdown, Somerset, 40 yards. Pittsburgh Pirates batters entered Sunday's game having been hit by 59 pitches. That leads the majors. Great for on-base percentage, but not so great to the human body. Yeah, we're talking body in this highlight pack. Reds, Pirates, a great day at Great American Ballpark yesterday. Go top of the fourth. Pirates lead 2-0. Neil Walker, he goes deep. Off the wall. Walker in with a stand-up triple, but wait a minute. Let's take another look at this one. The ball hits the rail. A little bit of fan interference as well. They go back, review it. Joe West says that's a homer. Tenth of the year for Walker, 3-0 Pirates. Top eight, same score, Andrew McCutcheon. Gets plunked with a 91-mile-per-hour fastball. Bro, that ain't cool. Uh, bottom half of the inning, you hit our all-star, we'll hit your all-star. Tony Watson drills Brandon Phillips, and here come the benches. A clear, uh, typically when this happens, just a waste of time. But this bench clearing, extremely entertaining because, oh, wait a minute, look, they came back, they reconvened, so everyone went to their corner, and then they did round two, and then they did round three, and someone said something about somebody's mama, and it's just not working out. Uh, this thing lasted much longer than the Ronda Rousey fight on Saturday night. Ronda probably would have taken care of, of all of this in about 30 seconds. The Pirates and Reds split the four-game series. Pittsburgh wins in shutout fashion, 3-0. That's a first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.